All right, so let's pick uh, Rickety Town. Okay. Um, yeah, just like I was saying, you know, like the graphics are really well done. Uh, the graphics, you know, they're dated. You can tell by this clown face, this gesture, whatever they're called, the clown gesture. Um, that are dated, but the motion and the animation, the speed and everything, the the frame rates and all that's really, it, 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 it's a fun game, you know. They put a lot of spirit and heart into the game, and uh, that's what matters the most. You know, that's what makes um, Super Mario stand the test of time uh, from, from the the NES system and Super Mario World from the SNES system. Um, they uh, stand the test of time because they have heart, you know. And um, so this, I always liked this level the most. Cause this level was. Um, it had a lot of great music to it, and a lot of great, um, um, a lot of great, um, uh, scenery. And just like, you know, like the clouds, you know, the dark, it's like, it's like a, um, it's like a real gloomy type of, they mix in fun music with a real gloomy back, backdrop, you know, and that's kind of a, like a real creative thing that they did on their part. So, you know those those bees are the ones that are kind of difficult sometimes. Oh, oh! Yeah, I knew it was gonna hit me. I knew it was gonna. Hit me. They come out of the back of their head. And it's hard to get them from a the distance so they don't come at you and hit you. These guys, it's been funny. And uh, um. This level's relatively um very short, you know, it's not that long. But it's a it's a real fun level. Just like I said with the dinosaur the backbone, uh bones of dinosaurs in the background, a good backdrop. I thought this particular part right here, the ride right here was very creative on, on the the game team. Uh, and uh it's a good idea. Uh, you can also tell that they went above and beyond just the design of the game. Like they put a lot of uh, thought into the game. Right here, where you can at. So but this game, it's it's um when you're playing this game in arcade, it's kind of difficult. It's kind of a little bit hard because uh, it's a little bit difficult to keep an eye on a lot of things and shoot the bad guys and shoot what they're throwing at you and like the game's real fast, a fast paced game, you have to have a lot of quarters, you know, to beat the game. It just depends on how good you are to avoid and hit all the objects that are coming at you before you get killed. And now we're nearing the end, I think. Should be close to the end. Right here in this level. This part was pretty cool. It's like a bumper car, it's like a different spin on bumper car. See, there I go, I got again. And it's so hard because you have to shoot these guys and, like, oh, oh my god, there. You have to shoot them and, oh, see that right there. Oh, wow. You have to shoot them and, oh, damn it. You have to shoot them so they won't hit you and, when you shoot them, the car stops and you get you, you know, um, you avoid getting attacked. Oh, okay. See, just the, um, there's a lot of other parts that you don't go through that you see in the background of the game, you know, that you don't get to ex explore, but. They made you explore a lot in the game. It's a really well made level. It's a real fun level. Now here we go. Everybody knows this guy. This this guy was a little difficult, but let me just uh, super blast him real fast. You can shoot him anywhere, all over the place. And you have to keep hitting him so he won't hit you with his big old bag or scratch you. Oh, oh dang. Ah! Oh. See right there, I died again. If I was playing this game in the arcade, I would have been dead. I would have given up a long time ago. I wouldn't be wasting so much quarters. 
you get him in the heart and the media suit you drop him down just like with the um with the other character from the first level with the machine gun arm oh there you go so you know this guy's easy because you know when you're playing the game on the emulator you can practice and go over it over and over again but that's the second part i'll put up part three thank you guys for watching carnival emulator ricky cespedes